All right, so this is just over the top and ridiculous, and I just want to bring out 15 points that are proposed fees that are going to be coming to Vegas hotels, if they can get away with it. It's almost like Scooby-Doo, you know? I would, have, I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for you meddling kids, but these are 15 points that come from my insider that has its ear to the executive level of what the hotels talk about on a high-end, back-end scale. You're not going to like these. I don't like these very much. There's one that I just learned about that's not even on this list. So let's cover this list of what you might be experiencing in the future. You're becoming a human cash register in the eyes of casino executives. This is going to end. If any of these go into effect, everybody's going to be angry. How's it going, guys? My name is Steven. I'm not leaving Las Vegas. I'm a Vegas blogger. Hope you guys would like to subscribe this video. Hit the bell for future notifications. Let me know which one of these. <laughs> I'm just going to ask you, what do you think about that after every single one of them? And it's just nuts. If you guys want to support this channel, we do have Patreon and channel memberships. We do also have our channel sponsor, Pinai Magazine. They are actually sponsoring the channel. They buy the billboard over at Resorts World. It says big giant 370 page quarterly magazine that comes out internationally all over the world. It's not just a Vegas thing. And uh, go check them out on Instagram. And they sponsored us. And they're awesome. And guys will like it because of the pretty ladies. Ladies will like it because of the uh, women's aspect of it. And Filipinos will like it because... It's a Filipino-owned company. That's pretty cool. Also, speaking of Filipinos and Filipinas, my wife of Filipina, VegasBaseMass.com, she makes these. Two for $25. Well, since we're talking about taxes and fees and nickel and diming, I thought I'd wear a Make It Rain, but we have 60 different types. goes around the top of your head, not behind your ears. Also, it uh, you know, breathes really well. It's 100% cotton. If you got to wear a mask because of variants, check them out, VegasBaseMass.com. No S at the end. Boom, commercial's over. Never seen anything quite like this before. 15 proposed fees. Here we go. Number one, front desk fee. A fee for checking into the front desk. Now, this was something that somebody tipped me off of that they thought had happened to them. It turns out that that's not the case. There's a fee for booking on the phone currently when you can book online, so if you need a live agent. But this would just be a fee for even just checking in at the front desk because you don't want to use that little kiosk because in my experience, they haven't worked very well. But if you want to do that, there's a proposed fee and also a computer slash ATM fee. So use it. They already have ATM fees, but use a computer, use an ATM in the property, computers to book your... Uh, Maybe you want to print off your boarding passes. You got a fee, okay? Restaurant prime time reservation fees. Now look, if you want to eat between 5 o'clock and 8 o'clock, like most people do, they want to charge you a fee possibly for this. And that would mean that you're basically paying to be eating at the restaurant twice. And you know what? They've tried these little types of fees before, some of the restaurants here in town, and it's always been decried. But if all of the properties do this all at once, you could actually end up paying this kind of a fee. Number three, proposed fee. Parking lot closer and closeness to casino entrance fee. Now, before you say this is unenforceable, let me explain it exactly how this would work just off the top of my head. Now, when you check into a property right now, you go to park, you're going to go to the public parking area. Now there's actually a, a gate and you press the button, and you get your ticket. If you have eagle eyes, you'll notice that since the pandemic shut down reopening sequence, we went through, there's actually part of that sequence at the machine that says, please wait, checking license plate. They're actually marking your car to be individualized to your parking ticket. All this would require would be, you know, a few thousand stalls that are closer to the front door elevator area of the parking garage to read your license plate and know which license plate you have. And then when you go to check out, you could be paying a graduated type of extra fee for parking in that spot. If you want to park closer to the doors, you're going to might have to pay for it. And I guess it would make it easier than hunting around for a nice spot and driving in circles. I generally park on the 10th floor of the parking structure and walk down. That's just me. Would you pay to be closer up to the front doors? That actually might be a useful one for some people. A number four proposed fee, a room brand new in the package, never used customer fee. So let's say you are really worried about COVID and you know that these rooms are not to your liking and cleanliness level. Darn it, there's a sticker on my door, but I don't trust the person that was in there. This would entail them basically charging you a fee to have everything brand new, sheets that were never used, quilts that were never used, bedding never used, everything not used. It's yours, have it. Pursuant to that, there's another thing that I was just told that's not on this list. Now, right now, most of the places don't take much accountability for if you walk out with a bathrobe or if you walk out with a towel. We've had that experience. I was like, no, you can't take the towel. And Caroline's like, oh, shoot, I took the towel. I thought they're going to charge me an arm and a leg for a little hand towel from uh, one of the properties out here. They didn't. Most of the housekeeping is not really accounting for this, but putting an RFID, something as small as, a, as the size of a grain of rice in there. RFID chips are used in manufacturing and warehousing to know when things pass through doors. They would be charging you $100 for a towel, $200 for a bathrobe. 
that's a possibility that's coming too. But on back to the list, number five, mandatory bellhop fees. Now look, this is kind of like when we went to the parking experience where it was paid parking and the paid valet experiences. The valets were something you used to tip in the past and now you're not tipping the valet, you're just paying for the valet service. I could definitely see this coming. If you don't want to use that bellhop, you could actually just put your own stuff on a cart and truck it through the property, I suppose, until they institute a bellhop fee. What about an ice machine fee? What about an ice maker fee? You got to put your room key card up if you want ice. Like, come on, this is ridiculous. That's not on the list. It just popped into my head. Um, these are actually being talked about by casino properties, by the way, by doing them. Number six, mandatory cocktail waitress fees. Again, going back to the service fee that you would usually tip with, this wouldn't be a tip. This would be a mandatory fee for being served by a cocktail server at a property. Now, if you look at Resorts World, they actually have a completely automated bar setup in the food court area, and it's actually serve yourself. You pay, you scan your ID, you go to the place, you put your drink there, you put the little uh, phone app there, and it just pours your drink. But yeah, cocktail fees, mandatory. Well, what's going to happen to the servers that are getting tips? That's what I wonder. Uh, mandatory dealer versus winning fees. So right now, a big thing, a big kerfuffle that's happened over at Resorts World. This was when all of the dealers decided to just walk away because they say their toke, which is their amount of tips, wasn't high enough. What if you had to tip every time you won? I don't know. Would you be willing to play at a place like that? Seems like it should be a choice. And if you have a mandatory fee and a bad dealer, maybe you don't want to pay, but tell me in the comments below. Doubling room service catering fees. Well, that one goes without saying. I don't have to explain that. What if your room service was doubled? But it's two in the morning and you really need to eat a steak. It's double. Just pay it, I guess. It's like the scene in Goodfellas where he says, you know, this was so-and-so and, -so and his, his deal was F you pay me. Oh, your kid uh, got into the hospital? I don't care. F you pay me. Oh, your restaurant burned down? I don't care. F you pay me. This is kind of like that. I don't want to curse. Go watch it. Type it into YouTube. It's not safe for work. They don't say F you. They use the curse word. All right. So what about fees for high, ultra high speed internet. Okay, I actually might stomach this one and here's why. If the high speed internet fees, the proposed high speed internet fees, if they were instituted and if you allowed me to bring a little Chromecast or a Roku stick or an Amazon Fire stick and if I was able to watch anything I wanted and stream it in good quality on your TV and you weren't going to charge me for your uh, high marked up movies and I didn't have to watch because a lot of these hotels have really bad quality cable. I was blown away when th we stayed in a few properties here ourselves. It's a fuzzy picture. It's standard definition. Have you had that experience? Okay, I'll pay your ultra high speed fee. Uh, hopefully the upload speeds are good so I can stream too because I'm a streamer. You should subscribe to the channel to watch my stream. That would be something I might actually pay for. Would you pay for that one to be guaranteed ultra high speed internet if you could stream your on your devices? Number 10, fees for restaurant slash window scenic views. All right, so here's the deal. When Steve Wynn built the Bellagio and the Paris was built right across the street, Steve Wynn created this amazing view from the Eiffel Tower restaurant looking right down on the Lake of the Bellagio and all of the water fountain shows. Coincidentally, that's why the Lake of Dreams at the Wynn is inside. He didn't want to have that happen again. But would you pay to get close to the window? Now, maitre d's, tips, all that stuff, you used to walk up to him, have a $50 bill in your hand like it was, you know, you're some cool suave guy like James Cagney in the 1940s and 50s. Hey, is there any extra seat upgrades near the front? You shake his hand and he'd look and there was a 50 and wow, your lady's super impressed or your guy is super impressed or whatever. Your friend is super impressed. What about getting rid of all of that? <laughs> Just charging you saying, hey, you want to set up at the front? It's $100 extra to watch the Bellagio fountains. That could be plausible because they don't do that right now. You have to wait for your spot. Um, number 11, fees for on-site formally comp room upgrades. Okay, this one's complicated, but it's called the it's called the sandwich is where you check into your room basically and you, you know you got a standard room and you take your id and your credit card because those are the two things you need you put a 20 or a 50 or even 100 dollar bill in the middle you slide it across and you say i was wondering if there's any free room upgrades now that is something they're looking to eliminate they don't want to have that anymore they want to just make this so it's just money 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 for the casino not money for the person checking you in at the front desk leading back to the first point front desk check-in fees drive people away from the front desk and take away that option for them people might be written up fired whatever if they accept that kind of thing because all they have to do is look in the inventory of their system type a few things in and go okay yeah i can put you up in a suite and i just made a suite 50 bucks pun totally intended. I, that's right. I went there. All right. So number 12 proposed fee by the back end of the casinos, uh, fees for usually complimentary shuttle buses. 
Yeah, right. Because it's not hard enough to get around in Vegas already in the summertime. Just charge me for the fee for the bus that used to be free already. Number 13, fees for concierge reservation assistance. All right, so usually the concierge is another thing that works on tips. You tell your concierge that you have a big dinner, you'd like to rent a limousine, get up to the stratosphere, top of the world experience, you're coming in from the Bellagio. They get the limousine for you, they get everything done for you, or you tell them you want to rent a car, or drive to Death Valley, they get you the car, they give you the directions, they help program it in your phone on the Maps app if you're not. You tip them for that. This wouldn't be a tip. This would just be like, okay, yeah, well, you have to use the concierge, you're going to pay X amount of dollars. Damn not getting good for for if these go into effect i mean this is what they're talking about number 14 fees for a morning wake-up call <laughs> all right so in a past life i worked for about a year and a half almost two years at a hotel in calgary alberta canada where i'm from it was a mcleod trail travel lodge and uh, i don't know if it's still a travel lodge or if it's if it's still there if you're from calgary tell me in the comments below you punch a couple of buttons on the phone to do a wake-up call i need a wake-up call at you know 5 a.m okay oh this is room 10 4 two, three, and 5 a.m., boom, there's your wake-up call. But a fee for that? Sure. Make sure you travel with your phone and know how to set your alarm, I guess. Number 15 proposed fee, an all-points fee. Covers everything that I just said. So everything is included in that bundled fee. It's about maximizing profits. And so why is this happening? And Will this all happen? Well, I'd say that a lot of these fees actually might be coming to Vegas. And I would say that my source on this is always excellent. It's never steered me in the wrong direction. This is the same person that basically gave us the wins plan for reopening when it wasn't open. And then they freaked everybody out and had to uh, go back with the plan. I got it before anybody else got it from him. So these could actually come to fruition. But the reason why, it's all about generating the most amount of money out of you as a consumer. You are a product. You're a product like they're they're taking that from you. And that's that's what businesses do. OK, if McDonald's decides that you're only allowed two ketchup packets and every other ketchup packet is 10 cents and the market will actually determine whether or not that's a fair thing. They're going to go ahead and charge you for that. So you can't order 50 ketchup packets and then go fill up your ketchup bottle in your kitchen. Who does that? Do you do that? That's crazy. But my point is this. If somebody says it can't be done and a big property does it and the market doesn't sneeze at it. Every other property does it. This is how things work, okay? And parking was a good example. MGM started charging people for parking and all of a sudden people are actually paying for parking. Now, before people paid for parking, they said, this is ridiculous. I've been coming to Vegas three times a year for a decade. I will not come to Vegas. I'll just drive to the, you know, I'll just drive to the casino in the Inland Empire and, and, and go and gamble at the Native American tribe in, in California. They didn't, they kept coming and then slowly but surely paid parking was everywhere. So when one does it, they can all pick up on it. If this is a concerted effort to rip as much money out of you as possible, God help them. And you tell me in the comments below what you think of all this. And now's the time of the video where people start telling me, oh my gosh, you are such a fatalist. No, I'm just bringing you the real chatter so you guys can know what's really going on and better prepare yourself for when this happens down the line and somebody else on YouTube gets it because they picked it up in the review journal. And I can say that I reported on it first here because I want you guys to be prepared for the future. So that's my video and I'm sticking to it. Check out our sponsor for this channel, Pinai Magazine over on Instagram. Links are in the description below, of course. Uh, check out VegasFaceMask.com, the only two you'll ever need. We're going to make it rain with all these extra fees, apparently, when they are or if they are instituted. And now's the time of the video. I say three, two, one, click and thank you for watching. So look at the camera and we look up here and we go three, two, one and click.